Hello librarians, today we're going to look at downloading Mark records from Amazon. I know many of you buy your books from Amazon, and especially scholastic books, they're hard to find Mark records for. Scholastic or Amazon is a great place to find them whether or not you purchase the books there. So if you go to chopac.org, and I'll have this link in the blog post, it will bring you up to this screen, and you can just type in any search that you'd like to do, and it brings up all the Clifford books. You have several options here. You can look at the marked record to see if it's a good one. You could export it, or you could save it. We're going to save this one because we want to show how we do several. So this one was saved, and let's say I also have this book, and maybe I have this book. So I've got three in there now, but now I want to do another search. So they're still saved. If I do another search, then I've got all of these come up and say I want to use this book, so I'm going to save. So I can just continue. It's kind of like making a shopping cart. So after I've got all the ones that I want, I come over here to export saved records. And see how it's put it down here in the downloads? My downloads go to my bottom of my browser bar. Yours may go to your desktop or to a downloads folder. You'll need to know where that goes. After I've got that, then I go to Koha, and I go log in, I go to more, go to my tools, and come here, stage mark records for import. Okay, so now I'm at the import page, I'm going to choose the file, and if I navigate to my downloads, I can see my mark records are right here, and I'm going to choose those. This is on a Mac. PC, same process, it just depends where it downloads to. You just want to find that file. So I open it, and then I upload it, and I can make some comments. I could, I could say that Amazon, maybe put the date on, or a title for whatever that group of books is. Choices whether you want to add your items or not, and I stage it for import. The rest of this is the same exact way that you do any of the records. I'm going to go through here and now stage records. And here we have those. We want to change this. And then we go ahead and import the batch into the catalog if you're sure everything's okay. right here, it's got this URL. You may want to delete this URL out. So then the rest is just the same as you would any other mark record. You want to make sure we change this to book, the books in bookbooks. And then we can save it. We need to make the item type right here. So the item type, whatever item type you have for your library, reader, and then we can press save, and now if we want to go in, we can then just put our item, or our barcode number, and fill out any of this information that we want to do. So that's all you need to do to use Amazon Mark Records. Thanks. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or email me at chrishcdck12.org. Thanks, and have a great day.